this is Scott from Sopagogo and today I'm making Mayflower's bath bombs. I'm splitting my batch in two because I'm making two different colors. The first is a blend of apple green and yellow five, both water soluble dyes from the bath bomb press. This creates a beautiful spring green color. The second one is a red 27 lake from Mad Micah's. The difference between dyes and lakes is you need to bloom dyes, which is dissolving them, the powder in water, alcohol, or witch hazel. I use 70% isopropyl alcohol that I warm for about five seconds in the microwave. This helps the powder dissolve better. Lakes are already bloomed, so you can add them directly to your dry ingredients. They have an advantage over dyes in that you can see the depth of color you're going to get right away so you can easily make adjustments if needed. Now that my liquid ingredients are blended into the sodium bicarbonate and kaolin clay, I can add my SLSA and citric acid. For those of you who don't know, SLSA is sodium lauryl sulfoacetate. It's a gentle surfactant that will create foam when the bath bomb hits the water. It's derived from coconut and palm, making it a natural cleanser. I'm finishing the mixing by hand and also testing that there is enough moisture in the mix by squeezing some in my hand. If it holds together, it's ready. If it breaks or cracks, I will need to add more 70% alcohol by spraying it on my gloved hand and working it into the mixture. Now that it's holding together, it can be pressed. I'm using the flour mold from the bath bomb press. I'm adding some colored magnesium sulfate or Epsom salts to the center of the flower design. It took a few tries to figure out the best way to do this, but after a couple of them, I got it right. I find that if the mold doesn't release easily, tapping it with a spoon helps. I really like this mold. I, I think it's really easy to work with and I think the design comes out perfectly. I first saw it at the Handcrafted Soap and Cosmetics Guild last year in Kansas City and just had to have it. So now we're moving on to the pink flowers. And the colored Epsom salts I'm gonna use for this are supposed to be a brighter yellow but unfortunately they came out kind of a dull orange, so I think they just needed a bit more blooming. They still look great either way. Adding your citric acid last to the mix really helps prevent the mixture from activating rather than putting in all your dry ingredients and then adding the liquids, uh, which can set off the mixture, which you don't want to happen until it's time to do that in the bathtub. Okay. 
It's holding together pretty well, but there is a little bit of cracking going on. So just to be safe, I'm gonna add a little bit more 70% alcohol. The best way I figured out to do this is I made an imprint on the top with the top of the flour mold and then I would add the Epsom salts there and that way I can get them centered right and fill in that circle well. I made some adjustments to the salt so that they'd be a little bit more colorful and stand out a bit better. That's more like it. These will be ready to sell at my next show. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or would like to request any other content, please do so in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching.